great. So thank you for, uh, for all of them. Uh, great having you on the show as always. You have a good day and we look forward to connecting again. Well, speaking of results, let's focus on one more. Sonata Software came out with what looked like a good set and it was a good quarter for the company. Strong performance coming in from the IT services uh, part of the business. Sonata also registered two large deal wins in the last quarter. Samir Dhir, MD and CEO of the company, is with us now for a quick conversation. Samir, good morning. Thank you for joining in. Uh, I think investors will take this with both hands in an environment where a lot of companies are uh, showing lack of growth, compression in growth. You've managed uh, a 17% if we count in the quant acquisition, and I think just 4% constant currency growth in organic terms. So tell us, what's the visibility that you have for the rest of the year? Uh, can you keep sustaining this run rate? What are clients telling you? Did you face any deferrals or any cancellations, any hesitation at all? Because a lot of your peers have been suffering from that. Yeah, no, thank you. And I think we are well pleased with the performance uh, our teams have delivered. Uh, 17 and a half sequential growth and 36% uh, Y and Y growth is a is a pretty good result that uh, we we could deliver even on organic basis 4% sequential I think is a is a very good sign. Uh, the the deal momentum continues to be pretty strong as you know in the last three four quarters consistently we have clocked uh, two or three deals every quarter large deals at that uh, so I think that's really helping us sustain the momentum. Uh, clearly, the market environment is uh, is tough right now. There's no questions about it. The spe specifically for Sonata, uh, we have seen some softness in the high tech segment, but beyond that one uh, segment, uh, in general, the market environment has held up for us. A large deal momentum that we've been building for the last three four quarters is beginning to now uh, bear fruit for us, which is I think what is reflecting here. And if you look forward, I think our, our expectation is that we'll continue to be in the top uh, quartile performance of the industry. Um, and this is what we have been doing for the last two, three quarters. We expect to be in the top three, four players in the industry and uh, keep keep delivering that. Um, so that's really our, our expectation. The pipeline is building up nicely. The order book for the quarter was about, the book to bill was about 1.2. And the large deal pipeline is looking pretty healthy. So still pretty optimistic about the future. And we believe that we can be in the top quartile performer uh, even go forward. So you're not seeing any project cancellations, uh, any slowdowns at the moment, right? We have seen some decision and delays uh, in, okay. in pocket. Like I said, in the high-tech sector, we have seen decision delays. I wouldn't call them cancellations. The thing that was supposed to start in, in March got pushed to April and things of that nature. Uh, but I wouldn't say cancellation per se, but that too also okay. very uh, specific to high-tech industry. Got it. So there's a decision delays specific to the high-tech industry. Can you share some numbers with us? You have a target of $1.5 billion of revenues in the next three to four years. Uh, how did you achieve, come to that number? And what would this mean in terms of a breakup? How much will come in from, you know, the inorganic route? How much through organic? And what are you looking at in the next one to two years itself? Yeah, so I think uh, when we put out the vision about a year back uh, to double the company and get to about 500 million uh, run rate uh, in about three to four years time, I think the objective was to be the, one of the fastest growing company in the market. And I think we're well on our path to, to do that. Uh, uh, clearly, we have demonstrated for the last four quarters consecutively that we have uh, one large deals, we have uh, delivered on the top quarter performance. So we feel we're on the path. Uh, and clearly, it's a combination of many things. Uh, a single okay. most factor I think, is our differentiation in the modernization engineering, which is a message which is resonating very well with the market right now. There isn't a client conversation which is uh, not diving deep into modernizing their cloud platforms, their data platforms, uh, their mm. customer-facing platforms. And I think that's really building the momentum for us. All right, Mr. Deer, we're a little short on time, but a final question before we let you go. The organic growth has been around 4% on a sequential basis. Do you explain, uh, expect to maintain this? This is on the IT services business. And also margins have improved a wee bit, but they're still you know, short of that 27, 28% that we saw earlier on the IT services business. What's the trajectory out there as well? So it's a great question. I think uh, when we articulated to get to 500 million, we, we had said that our EBITDA will be in the low 20s over a period of time. And I think uh, we have made significant investment in the business, which is really helping us win the, win the market, uh, get a market share right now. And we expect to be in low 20s if it does even go forward. Mm. Um, I think that's the trajectory we have been on and uh, the investment that we made in the business, whether it's in the sales organization, whether it's in the partner organization, the technology organization, I think they're all building, beginning to bear fruit for us. And that's what is really helping us out at this point in time. Sure. Got that, uh, Mr. Thir. Thank you very much for joining in. Good luck for the rest of the year. That's uh,